episode 5 of series 4 have become a legend story mode. Holy hell, I am a tired, tired man. Yes, in case you don't follow me on Twitter, aren't in the Discord channel, which you should be if you like to chat about Pez and this channel and what's going on, or uh, saw the community post that I put up this week, uh, the reason I've been away and there hasn't been a Jermaine Devoe or any episode in a while is because I've just had a baby. Well, I didn't have the baby. I'm not a medical marvel. My wife did. She is a marvel. And our little boy Rowan was born on Saturday and he is a bit of a handful as they tend to be at this age, five days old. Adding in a two-year-old to that has made things pretty difficult. So yeah, forgive me if I fall asleep mid-game or I don't know, anything could happen at this point. But I won't, I won't complain too much about that. Uh, what I would say is thank you to all the lovely comments on the community post. Really, really appreciate all your kind words and all the congratulations there. And also a hello to all the new subscribers and the new watchers of this series. And I do have to really apologise. See, before this season started, the PES 2020 season, I was aware that I was going to have a baby. Normally I do two episodes a week of both series, Master League and Become a Legend. But knowing that I had a new baby on the way, I decided I had to drop one episode a week. Uh, at the moment, I'm doing them whenever they I can so you just got to bear with me but when things get going again properly I thought well I'm, three a week is definitely more doable and unfortunately it was a become a legend episode that was dropped rather than a master league story mode episode uh, but it turns out obviously as it often does that become a legend is a little bit more popular uh, I think I've got about five times as many views on the first episode of that series as I do on master league so apologies to all of you who've come found this series hopefully liked it some, been some great comments so it's been really good to see but there's just not been much of it and yeah I, I am gutted it, it's a shame I haven't got enough time to do more I might try and sneak in some Jermaine Defoe live streams but yeah apologies there aren't many YouTube series uh, YouTube channels that only do one episode of a series a week and it's not ideal but yeah bear with me and hopefully you do enjoy what we do get and today we've got some absolute crackers to play we've got Manchester City <laughs> and hopefully Jermaine can fight his way back into the side in the last game of the last episode we were dropped for the first time on the bench as Morelos went on to score two but I think we are starting this game against St Mirren today and three days later we've got a <laughs> crucial Champions League group stage game we want to finish third that's the key for the Champions League group stages and then we've got Hearts, potentially tricky one. They're a two-star rated side, and we may get to Aberdeen. We may not. We'll see how I feel, whether I've got the energy for it. Without further ado, I don't think we need much more waffle from me. Let's get into the first game. One of the things that has been picked up massively is some of my pronunciation in the first episode of this series. I was saying Tavernier, I was saying Oho instead of Ojo. Yeah, yep, yeah, you all, well done. Well done for pointing that out. This isn't a BBC pronunciation channel, by the way. This is just me making shit up as I go along, but I do try. Uh, but as I said, Jermaine Defoe starting today. It could be because Morelos is a little bit tired. Uh, we need to score goals, there's no doubt about it. And this St Mirren side certainly looks like a team that we can score goals against. They've got a 57 rated centre back. No one in their back line. No one in their team over 67 rated. That is particularly low. We know that the Scottish Premiership is quite a low rated league. Uh, maybe it feels like it's a better league because of how close it is to home. Anyway, for me, living in England. But, you know, how it stacks up worldwide, it's pretty low down the pecking order. And uh, this golfing class is always going to be there and we're a much better side so we should be winning this. We're one point off the top of the table and a win today could take us top. With Celtic faltering so far we need to take the initiative, keep the wins coming, keep that gap between them. Hopefully the other sides around us at the top will drop off and without Celtic's pressure we could be in for a much much needed Premiership title. Let's go. We find ourselves today in the town of Paisley. Uh, it's in the sort of central area of Scotland. Uh, I don't think it's a huge trip for Rangers, although I haven't looked, to be fair. And uh, they're known as the Buddies. We're here at St Mirren Park. I still haven't changed any of the stadium names, and I need to do that. But the chances of that happening are slim to none. Right, let's get into it. Chance here. Our field into Defoe. Oh, that's a very smart ball. It's worked well inside, and that's a good effort. The first chance of this game. One back. That's Andy King, possibly. I've forgotten all the fucking players. It's been so long since I've played this. <laughs> Shots well wide in the end. It's been a slow first 17 minutes here. Just the one chance so far in this game. We've controlled possession, as we tend to do. But as we've had trouble with in recent games, not really creating the chances. As Andy King gets one in the ribs there. I think it is Andy King captaining the side today. And that's a long, pointless ball through to Defoe. Defoe lays it off. We've got a counter-attack on our hands here. This could be Murphy. Didn't want it there, but we'll take it anyway. That's smart play now. 
think that might be Murphy there. Didn't want it there. Oh, could still fall. Doesn't fall. Oh, what an awful cross that was. You absolute... Good ball out. Had to drop a bit deeper there to get involved. That's a good ball into Murphy. Defoe wants it back. Edge of the box. Find space. Good ball out to Taverner. Ah, should have pulled the trigger. That was Defoe shooting territory. We need to remember that he can whack him from distance. And that was a perfect opportunity to... Defoe's made a really good run here. Cuts back in. He's not going to miss the chance this time to hit it. Yes. <laughs> oh, we got the ball last time in that position and we were too generous. And that's not the Jermaine Defoe that we know and love. We hit it on site. And that was uh, pretty simple here. These defenders, as expected, just not of a very high quality. Defoe made a good run. He could have maybe let it run past him and make a run into the box. But he cut back inside onto that cannon of a right foot. See, that's a good run there. He could have let it run through maybe, but he decided to touch it back inside the number 46. And that's a very good hit. Oh, chance here for St Mirren. A beaker does really well. Oh, forces a save. More complacency there from Rangers. The away side having scored just... Just took their eye off things, and St Mirren able to pass it pretty calmly through the centre. Helanda overcommitted, but it's a good save in the end. Point from St Mirren. That's not good defending. Bloody hell. Day one of defending score. Don't put it across your own box, and we lose out again here. We're looking sloppy. Only a few minutes till half time. Luckily, that's an easy take for the keeper, but the Rangers fans will be thinking, come on, you've done the hard bit. I'll just prevent this really, really poor side from scoring. And that's half-time here in Paisley, and it's been pretty standard. Rangers keeping possession, Defoe scoring. Although St Mirren have actually had more chances. They've not really been dangerous chances. A couple of fairly pedestrian saves for our keeper. But again, we're just not creating enough. That's the problem. But the good thing is, Defoe's got his goal as Morelos watches from the bench. We stake our claim once more to that centre-forward position, that starting striker position, especially going into the City game. We want to be there for the heroics, for the big European nights. We want to be starting. So let's get another goal, make it sure. Approaching the 80th minute here at St Mirren, and there has been very little to talk about. This may be the first highlight, I'm not sure, but St Mirren with a rare attack being built up there, but it's cut out by Taverner who then clears it wildly, and that sort of sums up this half. We are very, very happy to hold on to this 1-0. Gerard playing a fairly conservative style, I would say, so far as Rangers manager in this reality. We keep the ball, we score a goal, and we keep that advantage. It seems to be the way forward. It is working, to be fair, so can't really complain. And we definitely are suffering from not having uh, Kent or Ojo in the side. And there we have it. Not an exciting game to start the episode off with, but an important three points. And maybe more importantly, a goal for Jermaine Defoe and surely a man of the match performance. I was listening to Emil Heskey actually on a podcast yesterday and he was talking about through his career, he was very much a team playing striker. I played with Jermaine Defoe quite a lot for England actually. And uh, interesting stat about Emil Heskey to go on a completely random tangent is he had, I think, pretty close to the same amount of assists in his career as Paul Scholes. It's a mind-blowing stat. It's a great goal there from Jermaine Defoe. But anyway, what I was getting at is uh, he was saying, as a striker, he actually didn't mind not scoring. You know, he just wanted the team to win, and he was a good team, a great team player, Emil Heskey. Uh, but I get the feeling Jermaine Defoe, not that sort of striker. And today, with Morelos always a threat to his position, watching from the bench, he will be very pleased to have scored the game's only goal and the winning goal in a game that we dominated but only had one shot on target. But a 7.5 will do us very nicely. Should see a start against Manchester City as well. Uh, we didn't, we weren't completely dead by the end of the game either. That'll certainly help. And Celtic get a win as well. I really feel that they're going to go on a run and before we even know about it, they'll be on our tails. So we need to be wary, keep the wins coming as we go top of the table with Aberdeen losing. Or was it Hearts? I don't know who was top of the table. But we go top. Lovely stuff. That St Mirren were bottom of the table. Wow. They're on a minus seven goal difference. We can only score once against them. That's almost concerning. Almost, but not quite. Because we've got the three points. And we just need to stay where we are. Ten goals in 15 appearances. It's, it's an amazing real-life stat. As it is, maybe we should be scoring more than that. Especially considering how good our side is. 77 overall rating remains. I'll be really interested to see when that reaches 76. I don't know when it's going to happen, but surely it should. A lot of people who watch from the first episode will be like, he's not 33 in real life. No, he's not 33, but I had to make him a little bit younger to ensure that he didn't um, retire straight away. It's a mildly alternate reality, but only mildly, only mildly. 
Um, so Palace rumours still floating around there for Defoe. That's interesting as we go into a massive game. Let's go and remind ourselves that we are doing in our group. Yeah, we need a win today and we need Barcelona to beat Lille. Yeah, that's that's it really. <laughs> it's, it seems very, very unlikely, but you never know at Ibrox. Let's take a look at the teams for today. Well, Defoe does start and a green arrow as well. Ryan Kent back in the side. That's good. Where is Ojo? Why is he not playing? I don't get it. He's 72 rated, Gresda 70 rated. I don't know anything about Gresda. He's fairly quick. But uh, they've got such a big squad, a ridiculously big squad. Uh, but good to see Kenty Boy back in. Um, he has always been an efficient partner for Defoe up top. Uh, Jack and Arfield, that's fine. Uh, pff, yeah. Taverner is always playing, which is great. Hilander as well seems to have nailed down that centre-back position, which is good as he's our best centre-back. Uh, Manchester City, oh god, oh dearie me. It was brutal last time, actually. Oh, they've got the Archbishop of Banterbury as well. Angelino, the man who wears 69 on his shirt. He is a mad lad. He's the maddest of lads. But he's doing pretty well, actually, in his career now. We had him in Master League a couple of series ago. But he looks like, in real life as well, he might be knocking on the door of a starting space at Manchester City. Obviously behind Mendy. But he's probably better than Zinchenko. Anyway, Sterling, Sane, Bernardo Silva up top. We're going to need a miracle. But what we can do is hark back to uh, 2009, 10 years ago, when, uh, actually, Rangers managed to beat Manchester City 3-2 at Ibrox. This was actually right at the beginning of the Manchester City money era. They started three new players in the shape of Gareth Barry, Emmanuel Adebayor and Colo Torre. Um, which doesn't seem like a particularly good trio now you look back. But I guess at the time they were highly rated and expensive players as well. But Rangers overcame them then. Can they do it now? It's a lot less likely now, I would say. But still, there's a chance. Let's get into it. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, just had a new baby. I am now a father of two. Jermaine Defoe, however... I don't even think he's in a relationship at the moment, not that I'm like a reader of Heat magazine, not that he'd be in Heat magazine, or that I'm particularly concerned with the relationships of uh, football players, but I feel like he'd be a good dad. Obviously the whole uh, Bradley Lowry uh, thing showed that he's a very caring individual. He's had a rocky love life, I think maybe some made some bad decisions there, but I feel like as he's getting on a bit, maybe now is the time for him to consider it, if he wants to. It's his choice, obviously it's not for everyone. At the moment, I'm thinking it's probably not for me, but I've sort of made that choice. Um, but what what he needs to do, and it's the whole point of this series, is he needs to win a trophy. I think then he could happily retire. So is Wilder, not so is Wilder, so just so is Oates. Just so some Oates, and uh, maybe start a family. So, if we can get into the Europa League, that's just another chance for us to win a trophy with Jermaine Defoe. He can retire happy, and he can build a family. Again, I think this is sleep deprivation because I'm talking absolute bollocks, but let's get into this. Come on, we can do this. Defoe, oh, slips a lovely ball over the top. I think that might be into Kent. Oh, John Stones does really well, muscles it off him. Orlando will pick it up. That's a confident touch there from the centre-back. Can we launch something here? Hilanda still bombing on. Looks back here. That's... Yeah, we're being forced into some play that we're probably not comfortable with. Cut back here, ball into the box. Laporte's there to head away. Angelino lets it bounce over his head. Manchester City get it back, but seven minutes in. We're the uh, team on the offensive so far. But that will change, I'm sure, in the blink of an eye. Hiro Sane, back to De Bruyne. Manchester City looking to take their traditional stranglehold on this game. It's a inviting ball in towards Sterling and a desperate clearance away, but it's back only as far as Angelino. The left back plays it into Leroy Sane again, looking for Raheem Sterling, who heads over. Two chances there for the centre forward. And uh, yeah. <laughs> it only takes just a, a millisecond for us to look like we are the most uncomfortable footballing team in the world. And that's going to be, I think, the way this game goes. But we've just got to nick one goal. We just need one. Well, we probably need about five, but it, we may only need one. Wow, here's Tavener. That's a decent ball into Defoe. Cuts back onto his left, gets the shot away. It's easy for Bravo, but that is the first shot of the game. Well, first proper shot of the game anyway. And Tavener, he's going to be the creative outlet, as he so often is. I think with the uh, overlapping runs of Angelino, there could be space for Tavener to exploit. And he's such a good passer of the ball. He could easily find Defoe. That's a good ball now. Defoe. Options ahead of him. That's the wrong one. Completely the wrong one. Stupid. But Manchester City give it away. Uncharacteristically. And then Defoe almost sneaks past Laporte. It's back to Bravo. Half an hour gone. We're looking alright. 
Oh, Bernardo Silva, lovely ball. Leroy Sane in a foot race with Tavernal that he's going to win. The German through here gets the deflection into the gloves of the keeper. Oh, the ball through to Defoe is on. Oh, no, that's an awful pass. Is that, is that the stand-in run? No, that was Tavener. We were just talking about how he could be so important for us in this game. And he had the simplest of through balls there to make. It would have been a one-on-one -on -one with Bravo that we surely would have scored. It's a big error from today's captain. And we've given the ball away here to Leroy Sane, which you don't really want to do. German now finds De Bruyne. Back to the Archbishop. And to Leroy Sane. Taking their time here. Ball is into the box. Headed away from Hollander. Back to Kevin De Bruyne. David Silva with the effort. Good save. And that's half time here at Ibrox. And I think we've got to be pretty pleased with that performance. Defoe with one half chance maybe. But Manchester City with little more. And uh, Steven Gerrard's side. Dominating possession. Again, we've not really done much with it. But we're doing it against Manchester City. And that has got to be applauded. We can keep it as it is. I mean, a point would be good. A point would be fine. Anything less than a massacre is always good against Manchester City. Ball in the air into Defoe is just not the route we should be taking. And Manchester City win it straight back here. Bernardo Silva, that is an exquisite ball. Into Raheem Sterling, turns away. Ball into the box to no one. But Bernardo Silva. I mean, what is it about having the name Silva and playing for Manchester City and being an absolute magician? Oh, lovely ball into Bernardo Silva. Good first touch. Looking for Aguero. The punch away is there. And then the bicycle kick will find Defoe. Can we launch a break here? The Ibrox fans on their feet. They've had little to shout about in this half. That's a potentially quite good ball. John Stones has made a hash of that. Defoe looks to cut inside. No, John Stones makes up the ground. <sighs> almost, almost. A little glimmer of hope there. And we've picked up now. We build something here. That's a good ball. Defoe, good ball out again. Looks to slip it back inside. John Stones is there again. Defoe manages to get the shot off and keeps it alive there. No, straight to Sane. And now walk off. That's important. Counter-attack was on there. This game has suddenly sparked into life. Nice flick. Oh, we've got space to work with here. Defoe's made a run. Ball is in. Looking for Jermaine Defoe. <laughs> and that is possibly off the feet of John Stones. Possibly of Claudio Bravo, but it's great work here from Rangers. We've really picked up in the second part of this second half. It's John Flanagan with the ball inside. Oof, it is a sliding John Stones. He puts it over the bar. I don't think Bravo would have had too many problems with that, but we're putting them under pressure here. And now we've got an opportunity from this corner. Defoe's made a good run. Oof, it's going to go all the way back out here. Can we recycle? Defoe wants the edge of the box. It's with a slipped ball through. Angelino will deal with it. Pass it out dangerously there, but they get away with it. Of course they do. No, they don't. Oh, looks for the 1-2 with Arfield. It's on. Ah. Steven Gerrard has seen enough from Jermaine Defoe today. It's a shame. I mean, you're never going to get many chances against Manchester City. But could the athleticism of Morelos maybe create something here? We're certainly in the ascendancy at the moment. We've been the better side. Can we create something here? I mean, for the sake of our Champions League run or our European run, we certainly would like to see Morelos get a goal today. And it's tight build up there, but too tight. And Manchester City win it back. Well, we'll rejoin the action if anything happens. Hopefully with a Rangers goal. Bernardo Silva into Gondouin. Bernardo Silva's ball in. Hollander's there to cut it out, but the danger's still not cleared. Our Walker now will put a ball into the box. Sergio Aguero's effort is palmed wide. <laughs> Uh, that looks like we're definitely not getting out of the group. That's fine. Doesn't no cut you, just, no don't don't be too hard on yourselves. We've still got another game against Lille, haven't we? We can still finish third. That is the real goal here. We're not going through to the knockout stage of the Champions League, but that's fine. We've managed to scrap somehow a draw against Manchester City, preventing one of the uh, highest scoring teams in world football from uh, rustling our onion bag. You've got to be happy with that. You've got to be happy. And we will go to Lille, I think, with a chance of finishing third, depending on how... Oh, yeah, that's true. Depending on how the Barcelona game has gone. Let's find out. They beat Lille 3-0. That's good. That is good. We just need to beat them. We do still play them, I think. Take a look. We play Barcelona. Yeah, we play Lille. So it's still all up for grabs. Certainly a chance for us there, assuming that Manchester City beat Lille when they play them next. But today, well, we're into our 11th game of the season. 
travel to hearts. Let's get into it. So Defoe starting again despite not scoring in the last game, but I guess uh, Morelos didn't manage to either. He's on the bench on a green arrow. He'll be disappointed not to start. Good. We've got Kent and we've got Ojo back in the side. That's good. Davis is in there. He is our best passing central midfielder. This is as close to an uh, ideal first 11 as I think we can get. We would probably want to have King in there. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty happy with that. Hearts have got some decent players. This looks like a pretty good side, actually. They sit only two points below us in the league. So this is a, yeah, this could be a tight game. Could be a difficult one, especially on the road. We're going to play on our lovely red kit today. Can Jermaine keep his uh, Scottish Premiership goal scoring run going? Let's find out. So one of the other many things that people pointed out that I got wrong in the first episode of this series is that Jermaine Defoe is not on a separate loan. It was a two year loan deal. Fine. Yeah, I've got that wrong. Didn't check the specifics of his contract, but what I did hear, I happened to chance upon a Jermaine Defoe interview live on TalkSport, uh, talking about his time at Rangers. Obviously, I mean, you're going to say that you love your time there, but I think he really is enjoying it there. Uh, as he was saying, he didn't think he would ever get another chance at European football, so very pleased about that. He also suggested that he would like to finish his career there. So, uh, finishes the career there, win a trophy. It just all adds up, doesn't it? So, let's make it so. Ojo now into Defoe. He set us up well in the past. That's a lovely touch there. And it's out to the left back. Not Kent, I don't think, but here is Kent. Has to play it back. Options here, and that's well worked. Good close control there. Trying to find that deadly ball. It's into Defoe. We'll hit this one first time. It's well wide. Had time for a touch there. It's a patient build up, and actually, we did create the chance in the end. That's good work there. And who is that? I'm not sure who that is. Ojo inside. Difficult opportunity without the first touch. Kent now, great hold up on the edge of the box. Can he find the right ball? Defoe's there, it's in towards him, the left foot effort. It's just wide, did it get a deflection there? Again, we're just finding our range. Great play here from Kent. Keeping the ball really, really well on the edge of their box. That's a good ball into Defoe. The first time effort on his weaker left is well wide. And oh no, it did get a deflection. So we'll have a corner here. We're dominating in these opening moments. Ball into the box. Defoe's got a great run here, but that's good defending. It's fallen kindly to Defoe here. Oh, Berra with a huge shoulder there. Just as we're about to loft in a uh, beautifully weighted chip. Well, Rainey now. Hearts breaking with pace. Walker keeps possession well. Good ball into Claire on the turn. Shouts for a uh, penalty or a free kick there, thankfully. Referee didn't see it and we're able to clear, but this, yeah, it's not a straightforward game as we expected. This is a good side. My ball again, looking for Ojo. That seems to be the game plan today. Defoe does well, though, to find Tavener. And now opportunities here for Rangers. Can Tavener lay it back to Defoe? He can. It's a great layback and a not a good finish at all. Particularly on a green arrow, you'd expect that to uh, at least hit the target. Defoe involved in the build-up. Like the red shirts. They're nice. It's a really good opportunity. Defender in a potentially slightly awkward position. But yeah, you, you want to be making the goalkeeper work from there. And it's half time here. Yeah, pretty uninspiring. They are a good team. Can't be denied. Again, we're controlling possession. Those three shots, all Jermaine Defoe. None of them hitting the target yet. If we keep this up, 64% possession. At least three chances for Defoe. He's going to take one of them, surely. Oh, lovely build up there from Rangers. Ball is slipped down to Jafoe, he's pulled wide. Can he get the cross in here? No, more strong defending. He's out for a goal kick, unlucky. Ah, oh, Defoe involved there in winning it back. And now takes it on the run. The ball is on into Kent. It's a great ball and a really good effort. It's just palm wide. Great work there from Jermaine Defoe. Involved in winning the ball back. Takes it here at pace and this is a beautifully weighted ball into the space for Ken. It's straight at the keeper, but still he only just palms it wide. Really unlucky. Lovely ball into Defoe. Hits it on the slide. Just didn't have his feet set for that one. We're snatching at things here today. We know the importance of this game against the team, breathing down our necks in the league. Oh, it was a big first touch. That's the problem. Probably needed to play that back or to the side or something. But the chances keep coming. Still unable to even really hit the target. Good build up here from Hearts. It's back to Claire. He's certainly a big lad. That's a big shoulder though. Oof, it's a free kick. They take it quickly into Walker. Wriggles through and that is wide but not by much. Hearts the home side looking to uh, create some chances of their own. 
It's actually a cleverly taken quick free kick. No one in a Rangers shirt aware of the danger. Luckily, that's wide. Oh, that's a really good ball into Ken. It's a great first touch. Looking for Defoe. No, <laughs> just couldn't thread it through the heart shirts there in the box. Really unlucky. What a ball that was, though, to find him. Well worked. No. Oh, damn. That's us done. Bollocks. No, so annoying. And, well, our race is run here. 73 minutes gone. Gerald again looks for Morelos to get a goal here in this important game. It's fair enough. We've had our chances today. We've not taken them. You can't be mad at that. Given the chance, we got another start. And we certainly didn't repay Gerald's faith in us. So, hope oh, Morelos straight away with a chance and he finishes well. Look, we can't be too mad. Part of me wants to think about this in the in the grand scheme of Jermaine Defoe winning a trophy. We need to be winning games. But we also want to be featuring, and it's a really difficult decision for Gerard. Morelos, I mean, he's got a bit of luck there, and there's no doubt that Jermaine Defoe would have been there and would have finished that. Um, put them under a lot of pressure in this game. Perhaps that's what's led to the mistake from what is actually a pretty well-rated defence for a Scottish Premiership team. But Morelos gets the gift today, and he gets his goal. Hopefully that should be enough for a win with only a few minutes left. Let's hold on to this. Oh, Morelos on the turn there. And he's absolutely rifled that. Incredible goal there. It's a shame to see Ryan Kent doing a dab. You're a little bit behind the times there, Ryan. But we'll let him off, seeing as it was a really, really good goal. Pfft. I mean, that's exactly what Jermaine Defoe hasn't managed to do in this game. It's a difficult position to shoot from. I don't even know if he's left or right-footed. One touch out of his feet. He's still facing the wrong way, pretty much. But that is a very, very good goal. Our advantage is doubled almost straight away. Uh, yeah, well. Mm, okay. The win. Yes, good. Defoe, potentially bench for the next game. Well, a really, really good away win here for Rangers. It didn't look like we were going to get anything from this one. But then Morelos came on. Scored two goals almost instantly. No, we are, we are happy. We are happy. Of course we're happy. The top of the table and we're going to stay there and we're dominating teams who are meant to be our closest rivals in this title race so yeah very happy with that i guess relos on for a seven defoe only managing a six in his 70 odd minutes on the pitch it's gonna happen but we had a lot of chances we didn't take them uh, we could have been a little bit more composed celtic winning again they're sneaking up here they come into third oh god yeah that didn't take long at all and uh yeah good 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 performance still only lost two this season the least of any side we've still only conceded three goals so we're looking good at the back actually not hugely good at the top actually we've scored one of the least amount of goals so far we just haven't conceded we're controlling games 60 percent possession on average and uh, Defoe now with only 10 goals in 17 games and a 6.7. There's certainly room for improvement. That won't be happening today as unfortunately I do need to duck out. I'm just so tired. I've got to go and have a nap. Sleep when your baby sleeps. And my baby's sleeping, so I need to sleep too. Uh, but we do start the next game. That's good to know. We've got Aberdeen. Oh, it was Aberdeen next. That's a massive game. Second in the league. We've then got Hibernian and then Barcelona in the next episode. It's going to be a good one. Crystal Palace still sniffing around by the look of it. There's absolutely no point in us going to Palace though, especially not this season in our search for trophies. And there we have it. Well, it's been great to be back with Jermaine Defoe. Unlucky not to score more in this. Got one at least. It was a good goal. Could have scored two or three more maybe in that last game. So uh, he needs to work on his finishing a bit, but we've got time for that. And we're top of the league. Get in. See you in a bit.